I bought my first camera at uh, the age of 30 years old and I always dreamt about photography but never did some. I was just waiting for the good moment maybe. And so from the, from the day I bought this camera, digi digital camera, I mean photography entered my life. So I started making pictures every day. So this everyday kind of making pictures entered also my diary online, which I was already writing. And so for 14 years I have this diary online and then for all around 12 years now I add pictures. And little by little, um, photography did not only illustrate what I was talking about, but it was another way to show what I live. From time to time I just look back to those photographies and then it makes sometimes something different. It makes a series or it makes a kind of new way of viewing things. So that's a little bit what I do here and what I did in several uh, former exhibitions. Uh, I came to Japan in vacations five times, I think, and I went on taking pictures of people, but also I started mm, making Japan my everyday life. Um, and I think this exhibition today is the the end of something. I mean, now I live in Japan, and uh, it's my it's my life. So it's an in between. It's between being a spectator of Japan because I'm not Japanese, and so how do I look at it? But it's my life because I I, I am here every day and I take pictures every day. So uh, how does this combine, and how this combination is uh, can be shown? I keep the word at home and watch the publication which is which is called every day and so there's um, this is my Japanese life since I arrived in July 2014 and so it was a work of editing putting things together and the result and the reaction of people is there is something a kind of harmony in all the pictures, something really peaceful, which is probably the way I look at Japan, which is a peaceful uh, country and Kyoto is a, and where I live in my district it's almost the countryside, so it's quite peaceful compared to Paris. Compared to Many people say too that there is something about solitude or about non-communication with Japanese because I don't show faces, I just show people from far, so probably that's the way I look at Japan too. It's I don't speak Japanese a lot, so it's hard to communicate. And through those pictures, I show that I don't, I'm not close as close as I would like to be from Japanese. So this object is the the, the exhibition too. It's a part of it. So the the aspect of this uh, object I made is also to question the way you look at an, at an exhibition. You enter an exhibition space and you look at pictures who are usually hanged on walls and you have to walk and to well, just walk and you keep standing. It's quite rare that you propose to visitors to sit and take time to look at something that has been made for. It's not the catalogue of the exhibition, it's a part of the exhibition. And in this house, which is in a calm area, which is beautiful, people are really surprised by the feeling from this house. So it goes with the fact that they see it, they take time and they take time to look at the pictures. Sometimes they ask me, oh, what is this? Uh, where does this come from? So I, I like the, the way I could match all these things together in in this uh, moment of the exhibition. It was logical to show those pictures in a traditional, in a Japanese place. So everything matched together. And um, it's not only a house, it's also a place where people do tea and 
where uh, they are aware of tradition. So when we started wondering how to display pictures, we made a lot of tests and uh, there's a lot of light coming from the windows so it was not easy to show a lot of pictures and obviously as in a traditional house there are not many walls. So there were two directions in my work that I wanted to show. Big pictures, those big uh, sizes and compositions. So for compositions the, we decided to, to use Sudare to use a usual object uh, to fit with the fact of showing pictures in a house and actually it works because there is something really um, simple in those Sudare in those kind of cheap Sudare we used so pictures I like put like that floating and for the big sizes so Dyrick um, and my diary decided to go to stay in this traditional way of hanging. Uh, so diary decided to make kakejiku in washi, in traditional Japanese paper, to stay um, with the idea that this this has to be traditional. So we decided not to put the composition of sudare in the main tokonoma, which is made for tea ceremonies, so to respect the tokonoma. So the, there had to be a connection between the pictures and uh, the way we hang them in this place.